What's up, Space Pirates? This is your captain, the Dread Pirate Dr. Disaster, and I've got another game for all of you out there to mark down as something not to buy. Y'all need to avoid the upcoming Marvel's Black Panther. You leave me no choice but to declare you excommunicado. One of the narrative designers over at Cliffhangers Games, which is a brand new AAA company, has spouted off a whole bunch of racist garbage that would make sweet baby ink blush with embarrassment. This is my public service announcement to all of you. Remember this game, and unless you're mocking it, avoid Marvel's Black Panther like the freaking plague. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so yet. And also, follow me over on Twitter. My handle there is Dr. Disaster One. But let's take a look at what the racist has to say so that you can understand why we need to avoid Black Panther when it comes out. This tweet was unearthed in this article from the website That Park Place. I will be linking the article in the description if you want to read it for yourself. But the person who wrote this tweet was Danny Lalanders, who is narrative designer at Cliffhanger Games. The tweet says, Gamers have been really racist lately, and I'm trying to ignore it, but it's hard not to when I see it sometimes. Of course, she wrote this on March 5th, which is right when the Sweet Baby Inc. Detected story was taking off. So naturally, she was talking about all of us who are following that account. Take a bow. Personally, I'm pleased to know that an absolutely hateful, race-baiting racist is bothered by me. Actual racism is pretty ugly, and I'm glad to be on the opposite side of people like this. She followed her tweet up then by saying, Just creating problems in your head. I don't understand the outrage over video games, especially games they have no interest to play. The lack of of self-awareness required to say what she just said is so completely off the charts, I can't even formulate my thoughts properly. Where to begin? First off, I'd say that these race grifters are literally the ones creating the problems in their head. You can't sneeze around them without them calling it racist and pointing out that you only sneezed because you hate them for their race. And then, that next part of the tweet, I don't understand the outrage over video games, especially games they have no interest in playing. Well, this person clearly did not pay any attention at all to what the other side was arguing for during Gamergate. For the love of all things holy, that was our line. We said it all the time, if you don't like video games, then just don't play them. Just leave us alone to have fun, we're not hurting anyone. But no, they couldn't do that. They hollowed out the game industry, infiltrated it, took it over, and now they're making games using their corporate edifices that they have taken over, and they're making games that we despise. Well, now it's our turn to say, F it. We aren't going to buy this crap, however, AAA game developers are in for a rude surprise because it turns out that a flock of screeching harpy feminists only make noise, whereas the customer base can make a dent. But this wasn't the racist part of what she said. This tweet here is what started what was really outrageous. I just stopped taking y'all seriously when y'all start running around saying white people can experience racism because I didn't suffer through 2020 for y'all to act like you weren't an ally to BLM four years later. 
Posting that tired ass screenshot of the Google definition of racism, I just don't care anymore. Why are you the way that you are? Well, that's your problem there, lady. You don't care anymore. You don't care about the definitions of things. You don't care about listening to other people's opinions. You don't care in the slightest about reaching a peaceful end to the conflict that your ilk constantly stirs up. People like her, people like this, they thrive on the controversy. They are the culture war equivalent to arms dealers profiting off of the conflict. But she wasn't done there. She said this as well. If you think you can be racist to white people, you literally are. What the hell is wrong with you people? She followed that up by saying, racism and prejudice are not the same thing. Racism is systematic, blah, blah, blah. I can't listen to this revisionist crap that they do to justify their own awful views any longer. She won't listen to reason, and if she's done listening to me and my kind, then I'm done listening to her. I will not be buying her game, and I suggest that you avoid it as well. In fact, I won't buy any game any longer that was made in any way by wretched people like this. I suggest that you all head over to Sweet Baby Inc. Detected on Steam and follow it. There will be a link in the description. They are over 250,000 followers now. That's really impressive. Let's keep up the pressure. Hopefully, this will ultimately have a fully curated list of games created by all of the awful companies. Not not just sweet baby. But I'll leave it there. What do you think about this person? Is she a racist or nah? And do you have any interest in playing this Black Panther game after what she just said? Drop your thoughts in the comment section below and we'll talk there. Thanks for watching me hearties. If you haven't already, your captain is inviting you to subscribe to the channel and become a part of the crew. Life as a space pirate may not be glamorous, but there's always plenty of booty.